what's up gamers thank you for taking the time to check out my video today we're gonna go over some important gameplay updates from the stream earlier today from EA now I'm gonna take what I experienced in the beta with about 10 to 12 hours of hands-on experience and then I'm gonna put into account what they said they changed what they didn't change and then give you guys a visual on what to expect in the first 48 hours of playing Madden 20 the game should be available in the next seven to eight days we are seven to eight days away from getting our hands on potentially the best Madden game in the past four years so the first thing I want to go over is the pass rush now they said they didn't touch anything on the pass rush we don't know how true that is but when you first start the game, you start off in the Pro Bowl. The pass rush was ridiculous to probably 85 to 90% of people. I ended up scoring 30 plus points in the Pro Bowl. And that's because I came into the game doing what I always do. And that's starting off, hit you with jabs, hit you with jabs, two yards here, four yards here, three yards. I'm not somebody that dropped back, look for one receiver down the field. So being that they implemented that type of strategy that I already use into the Madden 20 gameplay that's what I want to tell you guys you need to have a strategic plan you need to already have in your head remember there is no four to five second walk up you are at the line of scrimmage as soon as you choose your play you might have a half a second the quarterback make a couple adjustments with his armband anything that he's doing but you are right under the center as soon as you pick your play so now you got three to four seconds especially if you run a quick hike offense like I do in Madden 20 you will make one or two adjustments you will put a slant over here you will fade this guy right here it's time to hike the ball before your opponent can get set so think about that try to implement that day one when you are in practice mode or when you are online or when you are in your franchise another thing they said they didn't do anything to the zone coverage so like I told y'all a few weeks back the zones play three to four seconds just like the pass rush the pass rush if you have one or two good pass rushers on the edge or in the interior you have three to five seconds just like your zones you're gonna have three to four or five seconds max and they will play their zones after that if you have any kind of manipulation route entering or a route that goes into the zone and then out of that zone they will be wide open so I said early in the beta that you need to have a good four-man rush but it's better to have a five-man rush make sure that pressure is getting home to your opponent another important topic is the coach adjustments as soon as you go into practice mode as far as coach adjustments the new controls that they have practice 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 your base align your man align your default is all at coach adjustments down at the bottom and then now your linebacker changes to the shifting to the left to the right all that kind of stuff is on your d-pad i'm gonna have more of a breakdown coming in the future but i need for you to drop a like on the video subscribe share and retweet and i'm gonna bring you the best info and i'm gonna bring you some crazy crazy tips to go against these people that's trying to do seventy dollar hundred dollar ebooks for madden 20 madden 20 is gonna be skill and i'm gonna make sure that you guys have the best chance to win games let's go